Hi everybody, I'm here with Kelly Parker Smith today and I am so excited to talk to her. Um, I admire her work every time I see it come through the Pattern Camp group. So thank you so much for joining me, Kelly. Welcome, welcome. Oh, thanks. You're so welcome. Oh. I'm glad to hear you're flattered. I love it. Oh my gosh, so flattered. Yes, I love your work. Okay. Um, so can we start, um, can you just tell everybody a little bit about who you are, where you live, what you do, um, where we can find you online, that, that kind of thing. Sure. Um, I own Hello World Paper Co. It's a stationery and stamp design shop. Hopefully one day it will be a design house. That would be amazing. Yeah. Um, but I work mostly on Etsy, so I'm really close to 10,000 sales on Etsy, which is super yes. exciting. Yes. And That's a I also big number. Have a, uh, what? That's a big number. It's a huge number. I can't believe it. And yeah. It's been two and a half years with that shop, and then I have another shop that's actually – kind of on vacation right now. Um, hopefully I'll come back to that one day. But then I have a standalone website too, which is helloworldpapercode.com. So awesome. That's where I'm at online. Cool. Um, so how long, you mentioned um, two and a half years that you've had your shop open. Is that when you started everything up or have you, has, has Hello World Paper Co. been around for longer than that? It's been around longer in a different form. Um, <laughs> Well, I got married in 2009, um, little background, it all kind of started, of course, after my wedding, that's how most wedding stationery people get started, mm -hmm. uh, so I designed my own wedding stationery, <laughs> and, um, but the different thing I did was I donated to a charity at my wedding, and we had, like, little charity favor cards at each place setting, that was before everyone was doing it, mm -hmm. and um, that was what I started listing on Etsy, and that's what kind of took off. Oh, cool. um, So I have Crohn's disease, and so when I got married, we gave to the Crohn's and Clyde's Foundation of America. Okay. And so then that kind of stemmed the whole business. Mm -hmm. And so since the beginning, I've always given back to charity because that's how I started. So right. percent of all my profits go back to charity. That's amazing. So, yeah. That and I did not. Like, so it's actually been like six or seven years. Ago. Okay, got it. And I did not know that you had Crohn's disease. Yes. That sounds really challenging. It's very challenging. It's very challenging. Right now, actually, they think I'm also allergic to some major food group. So I'm oh. on a diet. So that's super exciting, Oh, too. boy. Crohn's disease is in technically a remission, so that's good. But that's kind of what started this whole, like, I have to get this business off the ground because I was working at a really stressful job, and my health has improved so much just being able to work at home. That's awesome. What were you doing before? What, were, was it creative? Was it something totally unrelated? Just it curious. Was third grade. I was a third grade teacher. No way. Oh my gosh. Yeah. How cool. Yeah, for 10 years. So it I was had, creative. I'm sure you had to think on your feet I, constantly. Yes, I had to really, yeah, I had to have a sharp mind. <laughs> I worked at inner city school. So okay. it was like after 10 years, I was just, I was just really tired and it was just really stressful. Like, not necessarily the teaching part, but just seeing their whole life and where they were coming from and that whole dynamic yeah. and how they had to bring it to school. And then you, they were supposed to, you know, sit in their desk and be this perfect student and they had so much going on at home. So yeah, I, I always tried to make school fun and safe. And so I enjoyed it. But after 10 years, I was like, I just want to go back in my bubble. You yeah. Know? <laughs> I don't want to know about all that stuff. I just want to go and you know be with my kids more and yeah all that yeah stuff, so. oh my gosh and how amazing that you get to do that every day now yeah, so great, I love it. great. yeah <laughs> um so I would just love to chat a little bit about um your time in pattern camp as somebody who came to the course with a lot of um a lot of digital skills already. So a lot of people who end up taking pattern camp either, you know, have never used Illustrator or Photoshop before, or they have, you know, like minimal right. knowledge about it. You were pretty savvy already, yeah. Um, yeah. given what you do. I love so, Illustrator. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Right? right. Yeah. So maybe not Photoshop. I know you've had a bit of a. <laughs> Photoshop or not. Right. Yes, like, but I Illustrator. Is so much. Easier. True love. It is so much easier. I agree with you it's just like knows what you want to do you know it's so intuitive like oh I would love to be able to cut this piece out here and, oh well there's something that does that mm -hmm. photoshop I'm just like it confuses me it's yeah tired and I know so. it's funny how some people actually prefer that program I'm like really I, I just it, that doesn't make much sense to me I really I love photoshop for 
it some has its purposes. Yeah, you know. Yes. Um, but if you're drawing and you're illustrating and you're creating these motifs, like Illustrator is yes. the place to be. It's yeah. So I love it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I knew a lot about Illustrator, so coming in, I had that confidence a little bit. You know, like okay, yeah. this will just be a new skill in my you know toolbox. Well, and you already knew how to make patterns, though. Yeah, like basic ones. Yeah. Like super, like using the pattern. You know, the pattern, um... Yeah, the... Going that way. Yeah. What, mm -hmm. what do you want to call it? Um, I don't but, know if it has a name. I always just say the object pattern make yes, function. I don't know. That's yeah. the official title. The, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so I knew how to do it that way, but I didn't... Until you showed me, like, I almost like the math of pattern making, that's when it all, like, just clicked. Yeah. Uh, like, I was like, oh, my God, this makes so much more sense. Like, I was trying to do that manually. Right. Like, I was like... Before pattern camp, I was like, okay, if I had this motif here and I want it to go over four inches, I would, like, line it up with the ruler. You know what I mean? Yes. Kelly, you don't even know. I, I did that for so long. And I finally one day discovered that you can just move things exactly where you need them to move in, like, one double click of a button. Yeah. And I had this, like, it was the best feeling and the worst feeling all at the same time because I realized how much easier my life was going to be and also how much time I had wasted. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Oh, that's exactly what happened to me. Yeah. Like when that first lesson when you're like, okay, you go negative eight or positive eight or and I was like. <laughs> you're like, oh. totally <laughs> worth the that's whole okay. course. <laughs> all, of all of it. Yes. Totally worth it. Yeah. Like I, was, I was blown away. Like, I was like, why have I not seen this? Well, I was, I self, I was a self-taught, I did illustrators by myself. Mm -hmm. So I never took any formal class, I never, I learned through YouTube and the book that yeah. you can buy at Barnes and Noble. Yeah. Um, so I got that, and that's where I picked up Illustrator. Just, mm -hmm. if I needed to make a crescent moon, I would Google on YouTube, how do you make a crescent moon yep. in Illustrator, and I would figure it out. Um, but patterns really good complex patterns were just a mystery, a mystery. I could not I couldn't do it mm -hmm. uh, so when I joined pattern camp then that was it and that's why I think I picked it up so quickly because I already knew the basics of illustrator so yeah just once I got that pattern skill I was it was over yeah like I was done like yeah I was like oh my god click click, click. <laughs> <laughs> I know and I remember yeah it would just be pattern after pattern after yeah. pattern coming through and I knew like I knew that you were feeling so excited and I was feeling so excited for you and everyone was loving them so much, but I could also see people being like, why is okay. she getting this so fast? Like, I don't understand what's going on at all. And just doing that comparison thing that we all yeah. do. like. And I felt, I, I could feel that a little bit, you know what I mean? And so <laughs> there was one time where I made a pattern in like 20 minutes and then I ate lunch and then I posted it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. No, it's so, oh, it's so funny. Um, oh gosh. Yeah. I just feel like that's such a, I don't even know what I'm, what I'm trying to say. I get that. And I also want to encourage anyone who's feeling that to be like, no, just post it. Like, I just want to remind people over and over, like we're all on our own path. Like we all have our own skills that we're coming in with and you're doing everything in exactly your own right time. And if it takes you 20 minutes to make this kick-ass pattern, like post it because that's so inspiring. Like look where you're going to end up when you just practice, practice, practice. So, I know. but it's that's really funny. Like, yeah. It's hard for people though when they're just starting, I think. Yeah. Because they're like, they're struggling with the technology. Yeah. And so if they had the technology, then it would come easy. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And, but once you keep practicing, you just get faster and faster and faster. Yeah. Faster Things faster become faster second faster. nature. You don't have to think about, oh, how do I move this thing? You're just going to move it. Right. Yeah. Right. So yeah, so I got the I got the whole like I love making them. I can make them quick. Now I just need to figure out how to make money off of them. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. Nice that's well, nice. that's an interesting question because I mean, you are you are doing something, you know, career-wise that you can incorporate your patterns into it if you want to. Yeah, so fully merging. Yeah, so I'm wondering if you can talk a little bit about that. Um how are you merging them currently? How do you see them merging or do you see them fully merging? Like what's your do you have a plan now that you've got these skills or are you just kind of making patterns and winging it and I, that's what I would be doing. But <laughs> right now um I'm making like well I love your weekly prompts 
with that, you know, go with our Facebook group. So mm-hmm. that's awesome. So every week when you post the prompt, I just want to attack it. But usually it doesn't happen until the weekend because technically I have a different full-time job. Right. You know? So I'm, I'm filling orders in my stamp shop and working on custom wedding stationery. Um, but slowly I'm seeing like the patterns and then the confidence in my illustration mm-hmm. is starting to bleed over. And that's the goal. I would love for them all to mix. So I'm doing like patterns on like the backs of invitations. Cool. Yeah, it looks really good. And so I'm kind of incorporating that that way. And then I want to do some new stationary lines and that's Mm -hmm. where they put my patterns on them. Uh, But I also just hired my first full-time employee. Oh my goodness. Congratulations. That's super exciting. Um, She's starting on the 15th. Wow. Hopefully I'll have a little bit more time to devote more towards patterns because yeah. I love that to become a bigger part of my business. Right. Okay, so. um, do you see yourself doing anything else with patterns aside from, you know, using them in your stationery and wedding invites? Do you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I feel huh. like I'm kind of like in this holding pattern right now because it's summer and the kids are here mm-hmm. uh, and my assistant is starting. So there'll be a training period. Yeah. But after that. I'm kind of, she's going to be my Etsy shop manager, so Mm -hmm. it'll be like, here's the Etsy shop. I'll be over here. Don't talk to me. (laughs) (laughs) And hopefully, you know, hopefully eventually I like to, you know, um, be at a show and get some licensing going, that sort of stuff, so. Excellent. That's the dream. Yeah. the dream. (laughs) I just see that being really easy to make happen for you, so. (laughs) Great. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's so exciting. Um, So we've talked a little bit about the Facebook group and everything already, um, Pattern Camp wise. And I know for a lot of people, that's an important part of being successful in the course. Is that, have you found that to be true? Um, I'm just wondering what about, what about Pattern Camp do you love the most? Definitely the community. Yeah. For sure. I mean, everyone is so supportive. It doesn't it doesn't matter where you've been or where you're coming from or where you're going. Like, if you're doing this for fun, if you just want to learn a new, fun, creative skill, if you want to do this for your job, if you already are doing this as a job, like, everybody just helps each other and gives positive feedback. It's just, it's just a really good spot. It's my favorite Facebook group. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> it's for sure my favorite. That is what I like to hear. <laughs> I check it first. Like, you're the only, it's the only group I have notifications on. <laughs> nice. Yeah, all the other ones I've turned off. Yeah, I pretty much turn off notifications yeah. on everything. Yeah. So this is the only one I have it on, like, so I know when people post their weekly stuff because I, like, I love seeing all the challenges. Yeah, it's amazing to me every week how many different interpretations of one theme there can be. Um, yeah. And I also, I, I'm just, I'm constantly amazed that people, that everyone's work is not, it doesn't seem to be influencing each other all that much. Does that make sense? You know how, how in some corners of the internet, everything is just sort of bleeding together and all starting to look the same. Um, I just feel like that's not happening with our group at all. And I'm not really sure why. Well, you can almost spot, like, I don't even have to look at the name sometimes to know who did it. Yeah. You know? And that's what I love. Like, yeah. Like, oh, that's Diane's, or oh, that's, the, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, oh, whose it is. Yeah. Uh, so that's really fun. But, like, the class itself, my favorite part is the illustrator, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> that's my favorite. Uh, but I learned new stuff, too. So even, yeah. like, you know, just, not just the pattern stuff, but. There are other little buttons and things that, yeah. And I think that's with any class that you take, even if you know it so well, there's something you're going to learn. Yeah, that's a really interesting, um, a really interesting bit too, because I do get questions from people like, I already, you know, I've been using this program in my work for 20 years. Um, I already know how to make patterns. Is this class for me? Like, am I going to learn anything new? And. I always say yes, because I keep hearing things like that from, you know, like what you just said. Um, I don't really know where I'm going with this, but. But I mean, even if, 
like they don't learn something new. They're going to learn a new way to do something. Yeah. So if you do things a little different than I do, depending on, you know what I mean? Like you mm-hmm. may select it from the drop down, and I use the right click or, yeah. you know, there's just different. And I'm like, oh, I didn't know you could find it there. Mm-hmm. I use it this way. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I know because it's such a robust program that there's no way that you're ever going to know everything. And I learn stuff from pattern campers too. And it's always, there's this little piece of me that's like, oh God, how embarrassing. Like I didn't know that. And then I'm like, awesome. Now I know that. Thank you. That's so great. So I'm constantly learning in pattern camp too. (laughs) It's so great. Um, One thing that just popped into my mind actually um, that came up in the last round of the class was doing artwork on the iPad Pro which I know you have. Oh, big thing. Yes. So I'm wondering how, I, we haven't really talked about it much recently. Um, how, how has that, how has that figured into your work, I guess, or has it, are you still kind of, I use it all work you do? Yeah. <laughs> so I mostly draw on there now. Oh, cool. I'm going to do a pattern and I know for sure that, you know, I'm going to be changing all the colors and, yeah. So I recently did like the paisley pattern. I I sent it to you, so it'll probably mm-hmm. be attached yeah. to this. But um, that was done completely on the iPad. Oh my gosh. The pattern wasn't, but all the motifs. all the motifs. Yeah. Um, because in Adobe Draw, it's so it's the Illustrator version, it's the app for Illustrator. Yeah. You can draw on your iPad, and then you just flip it. You press a button, and it shows up in Illustrator. It's already vectorized. Seriously. Yes, I mean. I think I need to go to the Apple store today. I mean, I've been saying this for weeks. Like, everyone tell me why I need to buy an iPad Pro. done for you. I don't scan and live trace anymore. It's amazing. I'm going to have to. There are certain things, you know, like if you draw an outline, then it's going to fill in the outline. So you yeah. have to fill in on the iPad. And then you have your circle or whatever. Right. Um, and then you can do layers and... Okay, so for anybody who may be watching who has an iPad Pro and is wondering how this might figure into Pattern Camp, basically it'll make it even more fun than it already is, is what you're saying. Pretty much, yeah. Like I almost, I didn't have it for the last class. Yeah. I'm thinking I need to take the class again. Ah. Oh my iPad Pro. (laughs) That's. And then I have like color ways already in there that you can pick from. Yeah. The last two patterns I did were colorways that were already in there. And I was just like, oh, I like that. And I just used it. I You can draw straight in color, and it flips up and keeps the color, and everything's almost done, and then you can just arrange. Mm-hmm. Or you can draw in black and then change the color when you get into In Illustrator. Illustrator. Got it. I love it. And then okay. there's a, the one for Photoshop, and that one's pretty cool, too, because it does, like, actual watercolor. Mm-hmm. So, like, you'll dip the pen on there and it'll spread whoa and they blend into it like if you do another circle over here it blends into each other just like it went on oh my gosh that's so cool that one's called adobe sketch sketch yeah Yeah. that's it okay now it doesn't replace for me the actual like paint on paper because i love doing watercolor but Mm -hmm. um because that's so relaxing yeah if you know for sure what you're going to do and you don't feel like getting all of your things out you can just yeah Oh my God, what an amazing time that we live in. I know. I, I seriously can't talk enough about it because I love my iPad Pro. Okay. So I'm, it. I keep getting like newly convinced and then I'm like, no, I don't need one. Yeah. I well, might I need one. I need one. Yeah. It's not like I can't do it without, but yeah. it's really fun. It just sparked a whole nother round of like creative juices. You yeah. know what I mean? Like. I'll, I can, I still use my sketchbook and I'll mm-hmm. draw on it, but I'll be like, ooh, I could just do this straight on the iPad and then I wouldn't have to worry about the outlines or, especially if you're going to do something with outlines, just put it on the iPad Pro. Yeah. Okay. That makes it a lot easier. That is a great tip for anybody who has an iPad Pro out there who's watching this. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Anybody who's thinking of getting an iPad Pro, like me. It's amazing. <laughs> Get it, get it, you're, you'll, at first you'll be like, oh, I don't know, but just keep, keep going. Yeah, okay. And then you fall in love, and then it'll be over, and your sketchbook will cry. Oh, <laughs> sadness. <laughs> well, okay, I'm okay. convinced. <laughs> you know, I need a little uh, email in about a week, and you'll be like, I have it, it's Yeah, there. yeah, 
Okay. All right, good. Okay, so getting back on track from just yes. ooing and aahing about the iPad Pro, um, is there anything that really surprised you in Pattern Camp? Um, just as a student in the community, anything like that? The answer may be no. Yeah, no, I, totally. I thought at first, when I first joined, like I drew as a kid, mm -hmm. but I didn't think they were very good. And so I stopped for a really long time. And then in January, there was like this drawing challenge I did on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And that's how I actually found her class through Lisa. Mm -hmm. um, so I saw her plugging your class and I was like, oh, I need this. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, okay. And then Emily McDowell took your class too. And I mm -hmm. saw that. So I was like, I need this class. <laughs> <laughs> so I signed up and I surprised myself by my... My drawing surprised me, first of all. And second of all, I thought I would be more geometric. Like, I thought I was going to stick to more, like, basic shapes and be... But I really enjoyed, like, doing the florals and the botanicals mm -hmm. and more detailed drawings than I thought I would. So that was kind of surprising. And I was surprised, honestly, about how quickly I picked it up. Like, I knew, I knew Illustrator already, but I still didn't think that... You just did a really good job teaching. Oh, like, thanks. It was, just, it was just really easy to follow, and I, the video tutorials were great. So that helped a lot that you were good at what you're doing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that, and I'm okay. glad to hear that. Good. Um, good. Yeah, I definitely, yeah, when I was putting a class together, I just, I thought, how would I like to learn this? What right. would make the most sense to me? So I'm glad that that translated into it yeah. being easy for other people to understand too. And then I'm not just crazy. <laughs> no, you're not crazy. And, so, and I like that there was visuals with the videos and there was also text. So that was good. Yeah. And sometimes I would just put, and this might be a tip for someone who's going to take it, but I would put the audio in and then I would have an illustrator up and I would listen to you. Oh. And, I would watch it, and then I would listen to you and I would do it. Got it. Okay. Yeah, so another I thing. I listen. That's interesting. I have not heard of, I've heard of people having, like, having the video playing on a laptop and then doing the right. work on, you know, a different desktop computer or something. But, yeah, I think you're the first person who's told me they listened to it and did it at the same time. I'm pretty so auditory. Like, I love podcasts. Yeah. Audiobooks. And yeah. So sometimes it just helps me to have it. Mm-hmm. And then I would put Illustrator up, and then I would follow along. With yeah. That. Oh, cool. I would watch it first, so I knew. Yeah, so you knew what was coming, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, so do you? I'm wondering if you have any tips that you can share with somebody who may want to take the class and feel like, um, you know, either they're not advanced enough in the programs, or they're too advanced, or just do you have any any wisdom to share um, about well, why it's a fun class to take and why it's a fun community to be in? I guess. Well, it's. It's really fun, but the best part is it's risk free. You know, like you just it's, you just put it out there. Mm -hmm. Not the whole world's not going to see it. It's just us in the pattern camp community. We're mm -hmm. all really, really nice. Really and, nice. <laughs> yeah, like we're all really nice. And, um, you just—it's so nice to be able to put your work out there and know that someone's not going to be like, "That's horrible," or. That sucks. Or just not get it and be like, it's yeah. it's just a pattern. What's the right. big deal? But people get so excited and get like about everyone's patterns. Like, yeah. oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I love the colors, you know? Yeah. Uh, it's just really supportive and you do not need to know how to draw. Like, I am not a professional illustrator. Yeah. And so that's something actually that I think is, is important to touch on. Um, one thing that I notice often... Um, is that people are really shocked that one simple little thing that they drew on a piece of paper can turn into a beautiful pattern. Yes. Like one little thing. Yeah. My first pattern, I think, I was just a raindrop, and I made, like, different colors in it, and I put little stripes in it or whatever. It was very simple. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, this is so fun. And mm -hmm. then I was hooked, and then <laughs> raindrops turned into teacups and turned into... <laughs> Raccoons and paisley right. and <laughs> donuts. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you just kind of take off mm -hmm. and don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Yeah. Because everyone's got to start somewhere. 
I started with, you know, five cards that my mother-in-law bought on Etsy, and now I have 10,000 sales. So, you know what I mean? Like, everyone has to start somewhere. You're not yeah. going to start in the middle of your journey. So. Yeah. Oh, that's such good advice. Yeah. You're not going to start in the middle of your journey. There's no way. Mm -hmm. You can't. It's impossible. Yeah. And don't be envious of someone who's at the end of theirs. Right. It's they started before you and there's nothing you can change about that. Yeah. I like to picture there just being this long line of creative people, like an infinite long line marching and we're all just in our own little spot in the line. There are people in front of us, there are people behind us and it's going to be that way forever, no matter where you are. Yeah. And it's hard. It's hard to not play the comparison game. And I have that in my own business. You know, I'm not like rifle paper co or you know what I mean like I wish I was yeah <laughs> yeah um, oh, gosh that would bring its own crazy set of challenges great, though you know I'm not and that's okay mm -hmm. and, and I'm where I'm at and yeah I like and it's it, perfect yeah I, I yeah. like it I'll take it yeah you said it so good in your blog the other day you're like this is life and I love it yeah you know this is where I'm at yeah this is it yeah. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> so what's next for you? Reaching 10,000 sales. That is coming soon. Yeah. Um, what's, do you have anything cool in the pipeline or? Um, I am, I have a lot of projects in the pipeline. <laughs> always, right? <laughs> always ready. Um, you know, this time of year it sounds silly, but I'm always gearing up for the holidays. Mm -hmm. Um, the holiday rush is always kind of crazy. So that's always in the back of my mind, like trying not to freak out about it. And then, <laughs> yes, it's June. Uh, so I had that. Um, and I'm embarking into the e-course ebook, ebook world. Really? Yes. It's going to be interesting. So mm -hmm. I just. Can you tell us anything more about um, it? It's, it's going to focus expect? on running an Etsy shop. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it's, that's going to be the main part of it, like helping oh. people get started. Um, and then also probably I'll do an illustrator course sometime in the future. So. Nice. Yeah. Like well, being self-taught, you know. Yeah. I may not do it all perfectly, but who cares? But who does? You know, even if you're not self-taught. Um, yeah, because there are a million ways to do everything. I'll take that course. I want to see how you do stuff. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> So those are the things that, yeah. And then, you know, have, I think I want to do an Etsy workbook and, mm -hmm. you know, help people just do what I'm doing and be able to live the life they want to lead. Yeah. And I think it'll be great. It's going to be great. <laughs> awesome. And then patterns. Lots and lots and lots of patterns. Yes. Yes. I would love to be at Surtex or, you know, something of that nature. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Well... It's totally possible, and there. Are, it seems like there are more and more shows popping up, too. Like, there's Blueprint now, which is at right. pretty much the same time as Surtex, and I just heard of one called Field Trip Show. Oh. Uh, yeah, it was much, much smaller independent artists, but that just happened, um, I think, right at the exact same time for the first time in New York City this year. So it seems like people are kind of taking yeah, that's cool. things into their own hands, too. And, yeah, and I used to be like, oh, oh well, I'm not an quote-unquote artist mm -hmm. you know what I mean like so that word always kind of like, yeah off. and I'm like why am I not like I totally can be yeah you know what I'm saying like I can just I can be it it's fine I've got this <laughs> yeah and hearing you say those words like I'm not an artist I'm like what you're right you're not I right. thought you were <laughs> but you know when people yeah are like, I, you know I feel like I should be painting all day but yeah I'm not and that's okay mm-hmm I do it when I can. And yeah. The season of life that I'm in. Yeah. So, absolutely. Hopefully one day. I would love to be at Surtex in 2017. Well. That's a hefty goal. You heard it here, people. <laughs> 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 I'm just going to go ahead and picture that happening for okay, you. Great. Yeah. The reality will align with my mindset and it'll be fine. Yeah. Maybe I'll all be there and we can meet in person and it'll be yeah. great. Yeah. We should just go together. It'll be fine. Okay. I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be fine. All right. Great. Done deal. <laughs> all right. And on that note, then, okay. we'll see it. We'll see you all at Surtex. Yeah. Making patterns fun. next That's year, funny. 2017. <laughs> <laughs> but in all seriousness, thank you so much for joining me. I think this is going to be really useful for 
all varieties of people who will be watching and listening. So thank you for taking, taking the time out of your busy day. Okay, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> thanks.